What's up guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. This is episode 4 of 10 tips, tricks and secrets you may not know about the gun running update in GTA Online. If you guys want to check out any of the 3 previous episodes you can of course do so, you can find links to all of those in the video description, otherwise let's go ahead and get straight into things. Okay then, so to start things off, there is an opportunity right now in GTA Online to get yourself some free money. You may have seen this notification already whilst loading into the game, but in case you haven't, you can get yourself a $200,000 money bonus simply by signing up to the Rockstar Social Club, which I'm sure most of you guys have done so by now, and subscribing to Rockstar's mailing list. Again, I'm sure most of you guys have done this, but in case you haven't, there will be a link in the description which allows you to do this. Do all this by Tuesday, June the 27th, which is now next week and you'll get yourself a $200,000 money bonus deposited in your Maze Bank account by Tuesday, July 4th. So definitely go ahead and do that and get yourself this free money bonus. But by the way guys, just to emphasize, you may not receive the money straight away. As Rockstar said themselves, you'll receive it by Tuesday, July 4th. So if you sign up to the social club and subscribe to the mailing list and don't receive the money, why? That's why. There's simply just a delay on that deposit. Anyways, moving on then to the next tip or trick. Now this one is definitely worth bearing in mind and is certainly very, very useful, especially when you guys are using the Juggernaut suit from this update. Now as I'm sure you guys know, once you're wearing it, you cannot drive vehicles, you can't even get into them and ride along as a passenger. But if you want to be transported about, what you want to do is get one of your friends to get a pickup truck or a van or some form of truck, because you can stand in the back or on the roof of them without falling over. Now of course, on a normal car, if you try and stand on the roof after a certain speed, it will simply fall over and slide off, but in the back of a pickup truck or on the roof of a van, your character will not move anywhere, you'll be completely stationary. So by doing this, standing in the back of a pickup truck or standing on the roof of a van or a truck, you can be transported around the map. Now moving on and up next, as I'm sure you guys know, by going inside of your mobile operations center or entering your underground bunker with a wanted level, you'll instantly lose that wanted level. But what happens when you take your mobile operations center into the military base or some form of a location where you get a wanted level instantly, no matter what you do, and you try and go inside your mobile operations center in that location? Do you lose the wanted level or do you keep it? Well, as you guys can see, I took my mobile operations center into the military base and went into it. And even though I'm still in the military base, I still lost my wanted level by being in here. So by the looks of things then, you can lose your wanted level no matter what you do and what location you're at, even when inside the military base. But I'm pretty sure this is something which Rockstar will eventually change or fix. Anyway, now moving on, this next one isn't necessarily a tip or trick, but just something which you guys may or may not have noticed involving the mobile operations center whilst it's inside your underground bunker. So as you guys can see right now, my mobile operations center is inside my underground bunker, but it displays a random license plate on the back. One which is different to the one which I actually have fitted to my vehicle. I actually have a custom plate fitted to this one, which of course reads chaotic. And you guys can see this when I leave the underground bunker. But for some reason, it doesn't display whilst inside the underground bunker. So by the looks of things then, there is a small glitch or bug with this license plate. And again, I'm sure Rockstar will fix this. But in case you guys didn't notice, go ahead and take a look at this for yourselves. When you're inside your underground bunker and your mobile operation center is there, you'll notice the license plate on the back is different to the one which you actually have on the mobile operation center in free mode. Now this next tip or trick might be too late for many of you guys, but if you're one of those players that hasn't purchased an underground bunker just yet, then listen up, because I can save you several hundred thousand dollars when you go ahead and buy one. So when you do choose to buy one and you go to customize it, do not fit a gun locker to your underground bunker. The reason for that is because you don't need it and it's a complete waste of money. I can't remember the exact amount of money, but it's several hundred thousand dollars. But when you go ahead and purchase a mobile operation center, you get one for free inside that mobile operation center. So don't waste your money on one of these as you get one for free inside this instead. Now, once you guys purchase and upgrade any one of the seven upgradable weapons in your mobile operation center, you won't be able to purchase or view any of these weapons or their standard variants at the ammunition. As you guys can see right now in the gameplay, I'm at the ammunition and all the standard variants of the weapons which I've already upgraded are locked at that 
are locked at the store, so you can't purchase them, you can't view them, you can't buy ammo specifically for those, you can't revert the weapon back to the original, fit any attachments or anything like that. You can only do that in your mobile operation center. And there's also a very weird glitch involving these weapons in GTA 5. So once you upgrade them online, if you go back to story mode, you won't be able to view these in the ammunition either. So somehow this glitch transfers across online and story mode. Now moving on to trick number 7, now as I'm sure you guys know, you can detach the anti-air trailer from the Saddler, the vehicle which it comes with when you first request and deliver the vehicle, and you can attach it to any vehicle you want. Well, did you guys also know, you can actually pick up the anti-air trailer with a cargo bob and be transported around that way. So as you guys can see, I detached the trailer from the Saddler, I then sat on the anti-air trailer and had my friend come along with a cargo bob to pick me up. And what's also cool as well, you can also operate the turret while sitting in the anti-air trailer, which you can't really do with many vehicles as far as I'm aware of. Now, as I'm sure you guys have already discovered in your underground bunker, there is a CCTV system which you can use to look at various different cameras around the underground bunker itself. Well, did you guys know there is also a CCTV camera looking outside towards the entrance of your underground bunker? which may not seem all that special, but this can in fact be very, very useful, especially when there are other friends or random enemies online standing outside waiting to kill you when you leave your underground bunker. So definitely use the CCTV option to your advantage, look at this whenever you want to go and leave your bunker to make sure there's no one just sitting there with an RPG or some form of explosive waiting to kill you or blow you up when you go to leave your underground bunker. You can also check the exact location they're at when you do go to leave your underground bunker, so you can take them out first before they take you out. Now, if you guys have been in any public lobbies over the past week or so, I'm sure you guys have realized that pretty much everyone right now is driving around in at least one of the new vehicles from the gun running update. And unfortunately, many of these players love to drive around and just kill other players without actually doing any of the objectives and stuff like that themselves. When any of these players are doing it, try not to retaliate, try not fight them. The reason being, if you destroy their personal vehicle, it will cost you $20,000 because of the insurance. These vehicles are extremely expensive to insure, and just five vehicles will cost you $100,000 in total. Now, as annoying as it is, unless you guys have loads of money, your best bet is just to ignore them to save yourself a huge amount of money overall. But moving on to the 10th and final tip or trick in today's video. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got any gameplay of this one, but it's definitely something you guys want to listen up to and bear in mind. So in case you guys didn't know, for many of the new upgradable weapons, you can now fit FMJ bullets, also known as full metal jacket bullets, and these things are extremely overpowered. Now, as I'm sure you guys know, when someone's driving around in the Karuma, you cannot kill them with bullets unless, of course, you blow their car up. But with these full metal jacket bullets on the upgradable weapons, you can shoot through the car and kill players driving around in the Karuma. So for the first time ever, you can finally shoot through the bulletproof car. This of course applies to all bulletproof and bullet resistant cars, so definitely go ahead and upgrade these weapons and fit the FMJ or full metal jacket bullets whenever you guys get the opportunity, because like I said, they're extremely overpowered. So with that being said guys, that's pretty much it then for this video. Those are 10 tips, tricks and secrets you may not know about the gun running update in GTA Online. Like I said, this is episode 4. If you guys want to check out any of the previous episodes, there are links in the description. I of course want your thoughts and feelings though on these tips and tricks, so go ahead and leave a comment. If you guys could also drop a like as well, it would be greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.